the character. Is he sick? Yeah. Is he blonde? Yeah. So, you know, goods and bads. Anyhow. Yeah, Chris versus Beast is 1 1. Phenomenal. Okay. Jumping into the set that we have in front of us, we have Utopian David Estrada going Lucas. I mean, oh, uh, goes Lucas. God damn it, I messed it up. And uh, Webb going Lucas. <laughs> That's all right. I, I, I think it was a, I mess it up. It's fine. It's Wi Fi. <laughs> I do really like Rosa in this game. I think the the takeaway of the jab that like, moves Luma forward suddenly makes this character like so sick because now you just don't like rhythmically tap A and have a neutral. And also, you really get to see all of that really cool stuff that Luma can do. It's like Icy's esque desyncs, the way that Luma flows, like, being able to understand how Luma moves and the, when Luma is going to do that with those movements opposed to just like setting up a wall. Yep. Something I've noticed that uh, is actually quite interesting, I think it'll be relatively difficult for Lade to get any like down B absorbs on um, Webb's PK fire. And I feel like that has to do with like the nature of the move itself in the sense that it's a very quick burst option. Um, and it's very rarely used at long distance from grounded. Right, it's usually used as like, okay, it's a call out on the jump. Um, or Lucas is usually moving while he does it. So I feel like Ray is not going to get a lot of opportunities to uh, be able to absorb it. Yeah, I, I agree. The start, the... I kind of, I just lost my train of thought completely. I know, very, very smart recovery, knowing that Lucas likes to go through two flaring options. Ray quickly gets back up with an aggressive recovery, not able to get the strong hit of the up air, but that's going to be the up smash. To take the first stock, Lucas could breathe on going Luna and, and kill him. Well, maybe, maybe not with that threat. What a tech! Oh my god. Yeah, that was that was impeccable. That was that was nice and spicy. But able to get the drag down nail into the up air uh, works very very well on floaties just because of like the extra knock that making it just in positive enough on hit. You know, waiting out the waiting out the parry with just a Luma wrap. The rapid jab of Rosalina and Luma being able to deal plenty of damage as this up smash out of shield catches the landing that Lucas tried to do recklessly on uh, Ray's shield. The second hit of Nair is what is able to pop up Webb as again he picks another another uh, aggressive mix up from the ledge. Gonna start to see, I would hope to start to see, oh wow that's a lot of damage. What the hell Regardless is that? <laughs> Lucas up air chains into itself. It's just a matter of trying to find the first one because it doesn't always combo out of throws anymore. It's going to be a yikes for me, dog. <laughs> really nice use of the, the wave bounce PK fire there just too quickly. I don't know, it's just the off ways movement there. Snatched. Chase me across the screen. Rope Snake doing his, doing his job. I want to, like, as soon as... Lucas like is forced to start to come in a little bit more as like you'll see that on the ledge as we get this perhaps see a ledge situation here. I wanna start seeing Ray like just kinda hold shield and up smash some of these aggressive options that Webb is trying to do. Because he's almost always coming back onto stage with a back air or a, a rope snake uh, tether cancel thing. But great Luma placement coming out from Ray as he's able to take that stock, interrupting the tether recovery. And rolling back to center stage a couple more times, even. Oof. Yep, but Web doing a good job bringing this back to effectively even at this point. Um, but being stuck in a corner against Gozalina, like that's very scary. I like the fact that he died in um, so that you know he wouldn't risk having to recover against Gozalina. Well, I love the raw air there, trying chaining into the only Luma up air, but he did just miss. Great DI from mm -hmm. Web. Once you said it was there, it would actually land uh, very difficult for those Luna to be able to contest that at all. They're catching Webb, just over committing to the shield. I love that just sudden spontaneous aggression from Ray. And that's all that he needs to get the lead. Not getting the spike into the down air, but the horizontal launcher. Ray just like said, you know what? I'm going to stop holding back. I have a good lead. He's going to be up there. And you know what? He was up there. That was really, really solid last couple interactions right from an immediate dash grab. Rosalina, have a, Rosalina has a super solid initial dash. So getting a grab right into a couple of 
offstage pressure situations, which led to a, a couple two frame or early two frame offstage movement interact. Great stuff from. Hey, Devin, I just saw that in chat. You hey, said Devin. it's great that we can say things like Donkey Kong, Jimmy Neutron, and Lucas have in common. I didn't really want to know that, honestly. I mean, and honestly, I'm, I'm a little bit uncomfortable now. Yeah. I just hope you what really do they have in common? Stuff. You want to answer the question? What? what? No, I'm not going to answer the question. What oh. does Donkey Kong, Jimmy Neutron, and Lucas have in common? Is it the Pompadour? <laughs> yes. Why does Lucas Yay. have a pompadour when he's like how old? How old? How old His is tiny Lucas soft serve hair. Google.com <laughs> Lucas. He's young. I mean, like, it's hard to say when, how old he is because, like, Mother 3 takes over the course of, like, a couple of years. Okay, Lucas is 13. Lucas is 13. Okay. okay. That so, makes sense. I think it should be illegal for 13 year olds to have pompadour. Have to have a pompadour. Okay. I, I think. I think. You have to be between the ages of 17 to 23 and be Italian. But that's, you know, that, that, that's... And then Lucas isn't even, okay? Yo, what if we gave Lucas, like, a wife beater in shades? Modders get on that. That is the... That I, I, would be I'm about absolute, it. It would be absolutely toxic. <laughs> you don't get bothered by the phrase wife beater. I just like to say tank top. I feel like wife beater specifically. It's a very like specific kind of tank top. Yeah. I don't know. Excuse my inner shit pose there <laughs> as we get back to this match. Ooh, Ray actually gone deep off stage, knowing that he can try to absorb the uppy there. <gasps> Missing it this time, not gonna get stage spike because uh, Webb is actually gonna grab the ledge there, but just gonna get back in right through his PK Thunder. And this is a very, very good move for Ray right now. Luma coming back in order to save uh, Ray from that conversion. And he decides to recover high. He's been doing that quite frequently when it comes to a uh, using the up V from Rosa Alina. He's just been going right past Webb and all of that ledge trapping situation and getting back to center stage, not having to worry about getting off the ledge or worrying about Rosa Alina's huge hurt box. Tilt? Looking no, to get him with fair. either the down tilt or the fairy something, uh, though that was stuffed up very effectively by Webb. Webb, nice aggressive recovery, definitely a little bit unconventional, and just gonna hit him with an F smash. Get him with a stick. Okay. I like it. It's just a wooden stick. I think that's good aesthetic. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a look. It's, it's, it's stylized. It's got a leaf on it. I like Pretty how nice. patiently Webb is giving Ray just a little bit of space inch by inch, waiting for him to overextend. Ray is very comfortable just patiently waiting in the corner because the longer he waits, that means the sooner Luma is going to be coming back. Yeah, but Webb is make, making a quick work of racking up a quick 45, but then... Oh my god, what Ray a back there. That pulled. spacing oh. was impeccable. That was delicious. He, Ray just takes over stage so well, as Rosalina Nuno can tend to do, but with Webb's cons constant moving around and like, jumping and canceling and all of this other shenanigans of trying to utilize his aerials and their safety on shield, Ray is just making quick work of just, I'm going to take center stage and I'm going to sit here and then, like, once you overextend, I'm going to punish you hard. Okay, so I just want to comment, that was a really sick landing I saw from uh, Webb a little bit earlier. I think he did double jump cancel wave bounce magnet, and it kind of propelled him up a little bit just over there. It was like, it's kind of cool. I just kind of appreciate that a little bit. Shout outs to Webb for pulling that off. Yeah, Webb's definitely got some tech. Ooh, okay. I like that freeze there. 105% though. Just about anything can kill him at this point. I like the aggressive recovery, being able to effectively whip punish the, uh, the down air. Though not going to die to the up smash quite yet, despite being on the uh, platform of Battlefield. It has quite a high ceiling. Web. You didn't go for down air there? You went for fair? What was he looking for? That was oh, really no. smart to try to knock Luma. <gasps> oh no! Oh my god. And she's still able to come back. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I'm, I'm going insane. That was so well done. Like, sheer puppet master levels of play, throwing Luma out there, getting the star bits in order to force a larger PK Thunder recovery, 
calling him back, but canceling the callback with the up smash, and then just doing it again as you see the retreating aerial come out from Webb, something that you know Lucas wants to do, something that you know Webb has been doing crazy amounts of time. He just catches that with a well-placed Luma. Well, well done. Wei's ability to manipulate Luma in this way is, is like, I mean, honestly, Rosalina's, like, I think this is something that the Buzz said a bit earlier, was Rosalina's, like, one of the most technical characters um, in the game. Like, has, like, maybe, like, one of the most uh, technical bugs of entry. And just being able to maneuver Luma like that, cover Web's recovery options so well to be able to bring Luma back and 